Today I am removing the exhaust valve servo motor from Bo, my Ducati Super Sport, and I'm going to replace it with a servo buddy. It's made by Rimrock, who used to be called ScooterNet. You're more than welcome to hang around and watch me do this. If you're curious about why I'm doing it, how I get it done, and whether it affects the sound or the performance of the bike in any way. So this is the exhaust valve servo motor up in there. Exhaust valves, I guess from the limited, <laughs> very limited research I've done on this, they can serve um, the purpose potentially of uh, providing some back pressure at lower revs, which I think helps to increase torque, or they can just serve the purpose of reducing noise at uh, like specific um, parts of the rev range uh, to meet noise restriction standards. In this Ducati, it seems it's more about restricting noise but that's not really why I'm installing this exhaust valve servo eliminator. It's because the servo mechanism has failed twice. So when this happened the first time, I just took the cover off um, and I took the cable off and I just cleaned everything that I could and, and lubricated it up a little bit. That was about six months ago. Then as soon as the fault happened again on bow, uh, I had another look and actually discovered that this time the cable had completely snapped off. I guess when I start pulling this apart, I might get some clues as to why that happened, but uh, yeah, it's doing nothing. Let me just give you a quick demo of how this thing works. So what should happen when I turn the key on is it should do a little cycle through and you'll probably in my case only see the servo motor turning and obviously not operating the cable given that it's broken. So the idea of these uh, servo eliminators like the, the servo buddy is that they kind of plug into the wiring loom where the servo motor was because that's coming out and they trick the um, the bike's computer, I suppose, into thinking that the servo motor is still there and uh, taking commands of, of when to operate and when not to, um, but that is basically all that's in there after the servo motor comes out. I can't take the exhaust valve out uh, because it is inside the catalytic converter and I'd have to cut that up to, to get it out. And from what I understand, the valve is open in, it, in its relaxed position, so as long as the cable's not pulling on it, it's open all the time. Now I know some of you might be thinking, why don't I get an aftermarket exhaust and just eliminate the catalytic converter altogether? It's not gonna happen. There's too much of a crackdown in the, in the area that I live on um, aftermarket exhausts and sound. And, and I, don't, I just don't, I don't feel the need to. I'm not gonna get any power enhancement out of it and I'm not even using all the power the bike's got as it is. And I kind of like the sound of the exhaust as it is. So I'm going to get this fairing off um, so you and I can see better what I'm doing under here. Uh, I don't know that you actually really need to. I could get my hand up in there and, and do it, but um, first time that I've done this, so I wouldn't mind being able to see what I'm doing. If you're looking closely at that, please ignore it. I don't want to tell you that story yet. So let me get this fairing off. now we can see things a bit more clearly. There's the servo motor where it pl plugs into the wiring loom and that, that is going to be replaced with the um, servo buddy. Um, there's the cable running through and underneath to the uh, where the exhaust valve is. So step one is to take this um, cover off the cat. Now there's three 
bolts that are um, that are holding this on and I was just hesitating a second there because when things are upside down I can't get my head around which way is loosening and which way is tightening but I've got it right anyway but yeah these three bolts the original ones that were in this cover had pretty much corroded in there and this bottom one in particular is quite bad and had to had to cut it out so I've replaced them with uh, with something else and I think I'm gonna have to replace them with something else again because I reckon they're starting to look a bit crappy as well we might get some stainless steel ones Still. Well, you can understand why these things get so gummed up and corroded. Look at all that road grime in there, bitumen. And all the chunks that have fallen out. In fact, it almost looks like something's been in there burning. Oh yeah, look, that's definitely a leaf that's been caught up in that cover and just burnt. There we go. That gets it out of that end. There's a lot of fraying but I think that's just because it's kind of broken off there. I wish I had the, uh, the top end of it that it broke off from. Who knows why that snapped? It doesn't seem to be... I can't really see any corrosion on that or anything. Odd. I can see how I've got to release this cable, it's just a little bit fiddly doing it. I'm trying to pull enough through so that I can kind of ease it around the outside of that um, little valve on um, top of that spring and then just lift it, the head of it, that little barrel head out of its Close. There we go. <laughs> the condition at this end looks uh, quite a bit worse. Something rusty on that um, little barrel barrel head. I've just mutilated the cable there, so that bending is my fault. There we go. Didn't need any tool anyway. So cables out and that will go in the trash and as far as that's concerned I'm not sure I'll do anything with that it doesn't need to operate it's right on the heat of the exhaust so lubing it up is just going to burn whatever lube I put onto it uh, so I think as far as that's concerned the cover will go back on I'll probably just give that a bit of a clean up before I put it back on. There we go. There's just two bolts holding this on. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering what would I do with this bracket? I'll have a look when this motor comes out and see. See what the options are. So that's it. Servo motor. That's actually got a bit of weight in it. I don't, oh, I'm not going to put it on scales to find out, but it's. Uh, I, I didn't expect it to be as heavy as that. Will this just release? Yeah, there we go. That's good.
you'd kind of want to pull most of your motorcycle apart after a while, wouldn't you, and clean all the stuff out you just can't get to. So I guess the next step is just to test and see if this thing even works. Does it clear the check engine light? Well, that's a quick install. Still there. What if I start it? Still there. Might need a test drive. Definitely got that plugged in right. I don't like it flapping around like that. Maybe if I just gently zip tie it to, to that bit of bracket. Well, I guess I'll put this thing back together. I'll get the, the cat cover back on and put the fairing back on. Then test ride it. Might take a little while for the check engine light to clear. Fingers crossed it will. Now in between putting the servo buddy in and coming out on this test ride, well let's be honest, isn't a test ride just an excuse for a ride? But anyway, I contacted um, a few people uh, in a forum just to ask if they'd ever had that situation where they put in a servo eliminator and the check engine light didn't clear right away. When I cleaned this servo mechanism last time that I got the check engine light, last time it got stuck, I'm pretty sure the check engine light cleared right away. That's what I remember anyway. Uh, this hasn't yet and I think I've turned the bike on and off about four times uh, since doing the servo buddy. But anyway, these guys have put my mind at ease and said it can actually take a few times of turning the engine on and off to, to clear that error. And even if it doesn't clear, I can use some kind of a, I guess it's the equivalent of a, an OBD kind of device with some software to plug into the computer on Bo and clear the, the, the fault myself. So if this doesn't clear within the next ride or two, that's, that's probably what I'll do. It's probably a useful thing to have anyway. As far as sound and uh, performance or power goes, I really don't think I'm noticing any difference. I don't really think I expected to either to be honest. Maybe a bystander on the side of the road might hear a little bit more noise if I'm going past at 50 kilometers an hour or whatever but I can't detect anything from inside my helmet. But there is some peace of mind as soon as that check engine light clears there'll be peace of mind that I won't have to worry about that exhaust valve ever again. As always, I hope to hear from you in the comments about your experiences with uh, exhaust valves or servo eliminators. But until then, I am going to just enjoy this beautiful afternoon ride and I will catch you next time. Hey, guess what? I just pulled over, turned the engine off and back on again, just to see what would happen. And the check engine light is gone. Yay!